children. In our previous sessions, we have already learnt about operating systems and its types. Today, we will learn about Windows 7 operating system. Windows 7 Class 5 Computer Windows 7 is an operating system that acts as an interface between the user and the computer hardware. Windows was developed by Microsoft World's leading software company, founded by Bill Gates. The first edition of Windows operating system was introduced in 1995 and was called Windows 1.0. With the advancement in technology and continuous research led to the development of advanced editions of Windows named as Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows 2000, Windows Me, Windows NT, Windows 2003, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10. Windows 2000, NT, 2003 are preferred for networking environment, whereas others are preferred for multi-user. Let us have a glance at features of Windows 7. Windows 7 has become very popular because of its user-friendly environment. The silent features of Windows 7 are as follows. Fast, smart and safe. Easy to use and learn. Play music and video. Supports high definition games. Maintains personalized work environment through multiple user support. Supports global connectivity. Fact file. Bill Gates is the founder of Microsoft and one of the richest men in the world. This is the Windows 7 control panel. Hint. To know more about various features of Windows 7, click on, Start. All programs. Accessories. And getting started option. Using desktop. The word desktop has been derived from the real-life desktop, the top of our study table, where you may find a pen stand, notepad, calculator, files, etc. The desktop of Windows also serves the same purpose. We can find various icons like objects, shortcut icons, document icons, disk drive icons, etc. on it. No more. MS-DOS was the most popular operating system chosen for IBM PC. IBM's version of DOS was called IBM DOS, or PC DOS. You will find the taskbar at the bottom of the screen that displays the start button on the left side. The programs that you have opened appear in the form of buttons on it. It holds the notification area on the right side, which includes a clock and some other icons. These icons represent the programs that are loaded in ROM at the time of startup. Icons The icons play a very important role in graphical user interface. Let us know about some commonly used icons. Computer it gives you a view of available drives and their contents stored on the computer system. Application icons. These are the graphical images that give a quick access to the related application. Shortcut icons. A shortcut is an icon containing a direct route to a specific application, folder, or document, etc. Document icons. The active document window of the application can be minimized to a document icon which gets placed on the taskbar. Network Allows you to access the shared files or devices on different computers in a network environment. Recycle Bin 
It is a folder which holds the deleted files or programs. Windows Explorer Windows Explorer is an application that provides detailed information about files, folders, and drives. It helps you to manage and organize your files and folders. You can use it to view, create, delete, copy, rename, move, and search files and folders. To open Windows Explorer, click on Start button, All Programs, Accessories, and Windows Explorer option. The Windows Explorer window appears. Creating a folder Children, you have already learned how to create a file in a Word document. Now let us see how to create a folder. To create a folder, simple right click on the blank area on the desktop. A shortcut menu appears. Click on the new option. And select folder option from the list of sub options. Type the name for the folder and press enter key. A new folder is created. Moving or copying a file or folder from one drive to another. Moving a file or folder means shifting it from its original location to another location. Whereas copying a file or folder means creating a duplicate copy of the selected file or folder. To do this, steps are. Select the file or folder you want to move or copy from the drive, where your file is saved. Right click on that file or folder. A drop down menu appears where, you can see the options cut and copy. Select the cut option if you want to move the file or folder. Or, select the copy option if you want to copy the file. Now, go to the drive where you want to move or copy your file. Right click on the blank area and select paste option. Hint, you can use the shortcut keys such as Ctrl plus C for copy, Ctrl plus X for cut, and Ctrl plus V for paste option. Moving or copying a file or folder between storage devices. Let us say for example, we need to move or copy file or folder from C drive to pen drive. Attach the pen drive to your computer. Open the computer icon from the desktop and double click on C drive. Now select the file or folder you want to copy, or move to the pen drive. Right click on the file or folder. Select cut or copy option as per your requirement of copying or moving. Now click on the pen drive icon from the computer folder and double click on it to open. Right click on the blank area and select the paste option. Deleting a file or folder. You can delete the unwanted files or folders from your computer system. To delete a file or folder, select the file or folder you want to delete. Click on the Organize button and select Delete option from the drop-down menu. A message box appears to confirm the deletion. Select Yes to confirm. You will find that the selected file is deleted. Restoring a file or folder. The files or folders which are deleted can be restored to their original locations. Double click on the Recycle Bin folder. Select the file or folder you want to restore and right click on it. Select the Restore option from the drop down menu. The selected file or folder disappears from the Recycle Bin and get restored to its original location. Customizing the Desktop Windows 7 is quite flexible as it provides many options to change the settings of the desktop, according to our requirement. Let us try one of the options and change the color scheme of the computer screen. 
Right click on the blank area of the desktop and select personalize option. Click on the window color option located at the bottom of the window. Select any color to change the colors of window borders, start menu and task bar. Select enable transparency option. As a result the windows borders, start menu and task bar becomes transparent. You can select various options like color intensity. Show color mixer to set the hue, saturation, and brightness. Once your all settings are done, click on the apply button. And click on the save changes button. You will notice the color is changed. Desktop Gadgets Windows contains many program called gadgets, which offer information at glance and provides easy access to frequently used tools. Windows 7 Gadgets are Calendar Clock CPU Meter Currency Weather Feed Headlines Slideshow Picture Puzzle and Windows Media Center WinZip Gadget To add the gadgets on the desktop, follow the procedure given on the screen. Clock gadget. It displays the time. To change the clock name and clock style, click on the settings option as shown. Slideshow Gadget It displays the continuous slideshow of a pictures on a computer. Observe the tutorial. Weather Gadget This gives the weather information, either in Celsius or Fahrenheit, of any place around the world. Quiz Time Name the latest edition of Windows. You can type your answer in the comment section below. Name of the winner will be displayed by us in the comment section or in community section. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.